How's it going, everyone? And welcome to my Fallout 4 guide to the Wazer White Bull. Yes, it's back from Fallout 3, and it's pretty awesome. Now, pros and cons. Pros, it's a very good weapon. Cons, it's an endgame weapon, which means you need to complete the story in order to obtain it. It's sort of a lengthy progress, but it's all worth it in the end. Now, steps on how you're obtaining it. Obviously, you must complete the main story. After doing that, you must proceed to talking with Sean. After talking with Sean, he will ask you for parts, and you better go out and get those parts unless you don't want this weapon. And so after you've given him the parts, wait about 24 in-game hours, and then talk to him again. And then you'll want to give him the parts, you'll receive the gift or whatever he gave you, wait 24 more in-game hours, and he will do that. But eventually, over time, he'll give you the Wazer Rifle. Trust me, it's worth it in the end. Now, some of the stats on it. It has a pretty good damage. It has a damage of anywhere between ranging between 45 and 60 plus damage. Can you believe that? That's pretty good. Uh, it's accurate about 70 to 85% of the time. Depending on what your perks are, maybe higher, maybe lower. It does pretty good on a weight. It ranges between 5 to 8 pounds, I would say. So, don't have to worry about being over encumbered with this weapon. Uh, it does have a decent value for this weapon. It's ranging between 300 to 500 caps. And uh, if you know Fallout, its vendors are not good whatsoever. They like to underestimate how much everything costs. But uh, the only mods it includes is the overcharge capacitor, which aka gives you the unlimited ammo capacity, which I will talk about here in a second. So, the unlimited ammo capacity does not mean unlimited ammo. Do not get that mixed up. It just means that you will never have to reload unless you pick up an additional fusion cell from off the ground or wherever. So, everything else that's modded on the weapon is normal. So, you can feel free to get rid of the overcharge capacitor, which I wouldn't because that's what makes it special. So, as you can tell, this weapon is an extremely good weapon. So I do especially recommend using it in tough situations, fighting super mutants, robots, you know, whatever. If you don't want to use it, however, then just, you know, keep it for the sake of display, put it on a shelf, or tell your friends, hey, it's back from Fallout 3. And, uh, you know, just unfortunately, though, this is all I got time for, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Fallout content, and that would be awesome. So I'll see you next time. Bye.